In previous video, we saw how a target variable sales price is distributed. We analyze its distribution. So in this video, we are going to see correlation of different features with respect to our target variable that is sales price. So first we need to understand why we are going for correlation. So because we have studied that correlation gives us the measure of variability between two features, right? So as you know, we have around 80 features, right? And if I want to analyze each feature with respect to the target variable, it is very clumsy, clumsy task, right? It would be very difficult for me to analyze for all 80 features with respect to sales price. So what I will do, I will plot a correlation heat map and what it will do, it will give me some good correlation, good correlated features. And I can begin with those features instead of randomly selecting uh, any feature with respect to sales price. So what we will do, we will find out the correlation and then we will select top correlated features and then we will start analyzing these features for different aspects. So now as you know, we have two types of features in the data. One is categorical and other is numerical, right? So in categorical, we cannot draw correlation heat map because those features will be like some strings or some encoded right something if we look at here you can see that these are all my features but then these are all categorical features with ex gd as the possible values in that so we cannot analyze these things for correlation but we will find a way uh, we'll figure out a way to to do some kind of analysis and pre-processing on these things but if you have again in categorical variable you have two types right one is ordinal and another is nominal so if you talk about ordinal ordinal features are those features that that has some order right let's say uh, like like ratings right one star then two star is greater than one star then three star is greater than one star though it is not continuous uh, but you can say that yes it has some order so now let us concentrate on correlation and see so what i will do i will select first numeric features from the data i am selecting the d types so select underscore d type will select the particular data type that you are giving inside this so we are giving np dot number that means we are giving numeric np is for numpy so we will get some columns here and these are the numeric columns id ms subclass living area garage cars garage area then the second step would be to get categorical features simply for categorical it is np dot object so object is for categorical variable then if I run this in my categorical features, I will go get the data. Those are categorical features. Now I want to plot the correlation. So first I will find the correlation between my numerical features that I have selected here, right? For these numerical features, I'm getting the correlation, which is done by dot core in data frame. If you take some if you put some features in the data frame and and give this dot core it's a inbuilt function in for pandas data frame it will give you the correlation so if i if i want to print the correlation here i can do that and I'm in in the sorted order if i print sorted order in a descending way that's why i have put ascending is equals to false you can see that sales price with itself is one but then overall quality has the highest correlation then the living area then the garage cars garage area total basement surface these are all the numerical features here and their correlation with respect to the sales price right so a next step would be to see the heat map so what is heat map heat map is like a visual thing I'll, I'll just show and explain 
so what we are doing here we are putting correlation and we have stored correlation here all all the numeric features the correlation of all the numeric features with other features right so we will pass this matrix in the heat map which is a function of c bond and then we will analyze yeah for all the numeric features we have this heat map right you can see and at the right if a block is too light in color that is too close to white or this it has very good correlation and if a block is too dark then again it has very good correlation but in a negative correlation so if you see this white block line here it's all white because for a feature to a feature itself its correlation is one right so this, that's why it's very high highly white absolute white because of one our first idea should be to analyze correlation with respect to sales price okay so for sales price you can see overall quality is white that means overall quality is having very high correlation right as we have seen earlier then this garage cars garage area again having very good correlation now this is what we know right from the figures that we have seen here but let's see some other figures so let's see some dark patterns so this is one dark pattern and that means this basement unit sf is one feature that is very highly negatively correlated with basement f in sf1 so what we will do we will just keep track of these variables that are those features that are correlated within themselves so like this year built is very highly correlated with garage year built of course the same year garage will build uh, property is getting built again this kind of heat map is very sometimes very difficult to observe but it's good to go in first run but then if you want to go with the some some precise heat map what we can do we can select some k select some n features here i have selected 11 so that i will analyze my heat map on those 11 features only and if i want to see what is happening here i have selected 11 features and i'm drawing a heat map and this heat map is pretty beautiful than before you can see here that bigger blocks because number of features are less and blocks are bigger right analyzing for all 30 40 features earlier now we are only analyzing for top features that are top highly correlated with the sales price now if you see sales price the lowest we got in 11 is 0.51 and that is also we considered as a good fit for correlation now if you see here first floor sf is one variable that is highly correlated with another feature total basement surface and this this is what in general sense we can feel right then if you see then if you see garage cars with respect to garage area is a very highly correlated why i am figuring this out is because because we have to remove multicollinearity also what is multicollinearity multicollinearity is when a feature when two feature are highly correlated with the target variable but they both are highly correlated within themselves also so those kind of feature destroys the model performance because of very low variance so these two features garage area and garage cars shows very high multicollinearity that means they are very highly correlated with each other but now we don't want either garage area or garage cars because these both are the features having same information and that will destroy the performance of our model when we will run machine learning algorithm so what we do in exploratory data analysis we remove one of the feature either we can remove garage area or garage cars but let's see with the correlation so garage a garage cars is having high correlation with sales price as compared to garage area so we can remove this garage area and we can keep the garage cars 
so like this we have selected some 11 numerical features for our further for our further analysis and so that we can do more precise analysis instead of random analysis so in the next video we'll learn about scatter plots and analyze so for these features we will analyze how they vary with respect to sales price see you in the next video then